Festa! Welcome to Gaster Games to Eurovision 2018 where we're talking about España! Spain, through their selection process, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, have chosen Alfred and Amia, I believe, uh, as their act for 2018 and the name of their song is Tu Cancion, which translates as your song. So it's my song, your song, and everyone's song. The thing I love about this song, and the performance especially, because we're judging this on the performance in the national final, is that, like Salvador from Portugal last year, you feel as if it's just them on stage, mm. and they are singing almost to themselves. They're unaware of the crowd around them, as Salvador yes. was last year, and the performance is so in their own moment that it really draws you in and I love this song. Yeah. I love it. It really, really grew on me. At the start I thought, oh, another duet, a piano, holding hands, all of that stuff. Ew. But as it went on, it's so pure and so, so lovely to watch mm. that I think it is one of the best Spanish entries in so, so long. I have to agree. Um, there's something about it. Spain have really given us some absolute atrocious acts over the last year. <laughs> um, and this has rectified that, in my opinion. Rectified? <laughs> I think he means rectified, but... <laughs> Yeah, rectified. Um, it has rectified um, my under my uh, appreciation of Spain again, and mm. I'm quite happy about that. If they can perform this at Eurovision, obviously it's straight through to the final because they're part of the Big Five, so there's no semi-finals here. If they can perform this the exact same at that. Eurovision, I think this will do so well that it will be in the top five. I really do. Wow. And because it's the show will be on the Iberian Peninsula. There might be a lot of love from Portugal and everybody will be feeling the Iberian flavour. Yeah, Spain is actually one of the longest waiting on a second win, I suppose, after the last one. The last time Spain won was in 1968, so they hosted in 1969. So that has been quite a long time since. So next year will be 50 years since they hosted. Uh, who knows, we could be going on the sleeper train between Lisbon than Madrid next year, for all we know, to get to Eurovision. I like that. I'm very happy with uh, yeah. Spain's choice. Their selection process is fascinating. So uh, if you were like us and you grew up in a certain time of our lives, we're 20 oh, wow. then we remember a program that used to be on BBC Choice before it was BBC Three. Going way out. I don't. I'm too young. <laughs> You're the oldest. Um, and it was called Fame Academy. It was also on BBC One, I think. And uh, basically you had to go into a school, an academy, and a lot of people had lessons in dance and singing and everything like that. Basically, that's exactly what they do in Spain. They get a lot of young artists together and they train them as an academy and as part of the process, they do this for Eurovision and I think it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, I would watch it, but I don't actually have the time. Anyway, what do you think? Let us know your thoughts about the Spanish song and performance this year. Mm, if you love it as much as we do or hate it, like last year and me and the Spanish entry. Please let us know in the comments below. Of course, tell your friends. You can like and subscribe and share our videos on all bits and bobs of social media. Next up, one of our favorites, Sveria. Sweet. Sweet. 